Um, they're not particular. They're, they're just like the ordinary zombies that you see there, but they have one critical difference is the one critical difference is that every time they hit you the um, you'll see if, if I do get hit by one you'll see just above the map the mini map in the bottom left corner there um, above it will be a gauge um, a, a blood plague infection gauge so every time you get hit by a plague zombie that thing will increase and if it it fills up uh, completely then you get infected with the blood plague which is deeply unpleasant and you've got a limited time with which to find the cure otherwise you turn into one of those red zombies um, or so um, because this uh, next mission is going to require me to get a plague sample and then that group will give you the that group will give you the recipe for the plague blood plague cure oh can I sneak up yeah I can yes I can <laughs> yeah. uh, there is a plague zombie there so I'm going to try and sneak up on it um, so yeah, these these are the blood plague, the plague zombies, and you just generally want to avoid getting. Well, you I mean you want to avoid getting hit by zombies in general, but these ones in particular you want to avoid because of the blood plague infection, and um, that one didn't drop a plague sample. Uh, you'll you'll see what a plague sample is when I, I kill it. It's basically just this big red glowing blob of not unpleasantness it kind of looks like a big like looks like a brain um oh, oh yeah, damn no room for that. i forgot to drop those things off for the and the oh damn it i've came in completely unprepared because i had a big stash of things here that um i forgot to drop off at the at the at the base so but they're saying that I did see a car here. Um, an extra car never hurts. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to run down to that car and I'm going to drop some of the th items off into that, into the bo boot of that car. Um, so that I can free up some space. Uh, and, ooh, handy, there's um, a big cluster of plague zombies there. Bollocks, one of them saw me. Ah! And that's the gauge filling up there. So yeah, that gauge above the, the map, that's the plague. That is the blood plague gauge. You basically want to avoid filling that up. Oh, there, an extra pitch can. So I'm going to drop some of these things off. Um, and because that's got a full tank, I'm going to claim that car. Uh, um, so I'll just drive that out. And uh, yeah, road safety doesn't really count in this game, so feel free to <laughs> just run into... Oh, there we go. There's the blood plague sample. So there it is, just a big glowing blob of unpleasantness. Uh, not pleasant, but um, it does help in the game. So I'm going to... I've got what I needed. So there is where I need to go next. Uh, in order to complete this next mission. And it doesn't hurt to run over a few more zombies. Um, just a little tip of when you're um, running over the zomb... If you're driving and you want to run over the zombies, try and do it with the car door. Because it, um, um, it will do a little less damage to the car. Although, in saying that, doing it 
too much. Um, if you do it too often, the car door will eventually fall off. Um, um, and then you'll have to repair the car to get the car door back. Um, but in the meantime... And it's a small price to pay because running over hordes of zombies is incredibly satisfying. Oh, there's another car. Um, anyway, um, yeah, yeah, there's loads of cars dotted around, and they're always compl in completely random places. Um, so here's where I've got to go. So I've got to look for someone. Oh, don't worry, I'm planning to. So look for a character called Lexi. I think this is her here. No, that's Brit. Lexi, here she is. Hey. She wants the plague sample. We'll remember it when it's our turn. Right, so that's your first mission done. Now, if one of us gets infected, Af I'll let her talk. We're happy to share the recipe if you need it. Thanks. See you soon. I hope. Um, so that's the first initial missions of the the game done. Um, after this, um missions will just appear randomly um, and in the, while you're doing that you're pretty much free to do whatever you want best thing to do obviously is just keep gathering supplies uh, to keep your base topped up um, ones that you really want to keep topped up the most are food and meds because well obviously um, if you don't have food you'll starve um, um, and meds um, just to keep everyone healthy uh, so I'm just going to drop all this stuff back off at base and then we'll um, end this broadcast and then I'll start another video where I'll just uh, sort of free roam around this uh, area and talk to you more about um, some of the other aspects of this game. Oh, there's a screamer. Oh, you do not... Shut up. <laughs> yeah, screamer you just want to kill as quickly as possible because they're not zombies that will attack you, but if they see you, they will um, let out a horrible scream which will attract other zombies. And uh, you you just don't want a horde of zombies running towards you. Simple as that. So I'm going to drop this thing of materials. And then that's the end of this bit. Um, so um, thanks for watching this bit. Um, I'm going to end this broadcast now. Um, and then I'll start another one immediately after where I'll just... Um, try and explain more of the things uh, more things with uh, about this game and then uh, maybe see what comes up um, because as I say missions just randomly come up on this and uh, you kind of got free reign to do with them whatever you want so stop broadcast thanks for watching goodbye